get a cow well and truly. Uh, the cow is to be the uh, end of this car. Good battery there, I just can't see whether it's still got green on it. Nah, it looks dead to me. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh, a bit of a swim while I'm waiting for the tide. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, make sure you stick around to the end for this one, it's going to be a belter. Um, a bit of uh, a, to, a to Z really of uh, bluebone, catching bluebone or black spot and tusk fish. Uh, went through the whole lot from collecting the bait yesterday to finding the spot today, which I was pretty proud to find because uh, unfortunately my sounder wasn't working today, so I had to go out like a pleb. Um, there were 350 spots here and I couldn't go to any of them, so I went down about 15 k. I think I got pretty close, about a k, a k and a half, or probably half a k off my actual spot. I didn't actually know, found some rubble and just sat it out there and uh, got uh, three nice blueies. Uh, probably let half a dozen go as well. Um, quite a good day, a few little flags. Oh well, back at the old van, still here, tarp still on, one of the biggest wet seasons we've uh, had in about four or five years, so it's good to see wind and rain, so it's just loads and loads of rain, good to see everything still there, nothing looks like it's been fucked with, satellite dish still standing, chance to tell him might work, had a pretty good run and We'll go down soon, try to get some bait, some crab for dinner and see what we can't do, but just check out the van first, good and good air out. I think it's been like three and a half months since I've been down here. Alright, talk to you then. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode and thanks for subscribing, liking and sharing Ocean Addict. Really helps the channel to grow, so appreciate that guys. Uh, well, if you're new, you might not know where I am. If you're a broom local, you probably know where I am. Um, if you watched a few of my videos, you probably know where I am. So, just out looking for a little bit of bait. Just gonna uh, do a bit of how-to blue bone fish. Uh, slash A to Z, what you need to do, what I do. Try to get the ultimate bait. Chase that monster bluey. So we're talking like 60, 65 blueys on a short monster. Missions just to get a bit of bait, maybe stumble crawl for mud crab. So, uh, I'll give you guys a bit of a wander with us. Just looking for little crabs. They're not actually baby mud crabs, they're a different type of crab.
pool. Looks like it's been off for a while. Alright, let's go have a closer look at him. Knew he was a good crab. It's fucking hard to get out the hole at like 20 minutes. Maybe fucking work for him. So that's, that's healed over there and started to grow again. So that claw hasn't come off with me. Yeah, it looks like dinner. Hey guys, back at camp, sausages. I got the crab, crab chicken away. Kept all the legs for the mud crab for bait tomorrow. And I'll just put some bodies on in the store. Just put them in a little oven here and then we're gonna put some garlic um, and butter and everything on top of it. Once it's cooked a little bit. Yeah, you don't get any fresher crab than that. We'll uh, probably see you in the morning and get some blueies. Alright guys, I'll just uh, show you my rig up. Oh, so I've got a... It's my blue bone rig for uh, live crab and for prawn. So with the blue bone rig, you want it on the bottom. So, pretty simple rig. So I've got my... Uh, Bimity there, sorry not my bimity, my yeah my bimity's twist, so it's doubled up. This runs down to a normal joiner knot, braid to mono knot, which I've showed you before, you can look at my other episodes. And I'm running 120 pound uh, leader, just for the big blue bone. So I'm running about a metre and a half of that. And then uh, I use these rigging tubes. What I like to do, cut one into thirds, out like there. Then half again. Terrible scissors, sorry guys. My good ones are in the boat. I've already filming. New one. So I put a little bit of shoe on, sinker, if you need another sinker you can put one on out there, and the longer bit of tubing, and then whatever hook I'm going to use, the moment I'm going to use an 8 straight hook, J hook. Do the knot, do a knot that you're comfortable with, that you're confident with. Get that tag off. There we are guys, so we got the hook. Right down to the leader. Running sinker, and what it does, what it does is it lies lies on the bottom with your crab or your prawn, sort of waving around like this in the water. The blue bone pick it up, pull it, and pull it. And what this does, it stops the sinker banging on the top of the knot, and this also. Um, sort of protects your knot there so if you get a big bluey it uh, might just save you sort of bangs there or you can have it like that so then it just comes out but when you actually bang it'll push it on 
Oh, so yeah, when you're fishing bluebone, you you don't want it up here. You don't want it on a paternoster. You will get bluebone every now and then on a paternoster. Sitting up like that, just want it on the bottom. And I got it on a pretty serious reel, 50 pound braid. I got it on the saltest, little seven to one. He's crop country, so don't mess around. Got a mug crab yesterday at the boat now. That's a bonus. trying to catch a blue bone you would have seen in that other um, footage um, we went and got the little crabs there they are we got the bait got about 20 little crabs in there we got some prawns found a nice bit of reef I made it hard for myself today my sound is not working so I've come out blind lucky I know the area I've just hooked onto a bit of reef with the anchor so I figure I'm nearly in the right spot so all right so you can't say you can't catch a fish without a sounder or my plotter or anything so we'll see what happens we'll keep you posted it's good blue country no one's been out here we got the bait should be big blue bone people i want to see 55 60s let's see what happens Nice little 45. Little one for dinner. Weapon down now, guys. Just make sure they don't have any eggs. If they got eggs, they're gonna go back straight away. You're allowed 10 litres of these, but don't get stupid. Just take what you need. I just took 20. Probably could have took 50, so. Nice 
Husky. Gonna like to take the really big one. Hey guys, I'm sitting here on anchor, and believe it or not, a big school of meter plus trevally just come up behind the boat. So I pulled my bottom bouncing rig up, threw my crab in there, two cranks, boom, meter GT. How you going? Banger, proper banger. bigger ones today, got a heap of little ones as you've seen, but there we go, proper blue bone, black spotted tusk fish, happy with that.
Try to get the subtle bite of a blue bone. Smallest little bite at the end of the tip of the rod. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Time's come to make our way back. So yeah, as you can see, we're not fishing very far offshore. Probably, what would that be? Two or three k's offshore. So all good ground here. I've managed to find some ground without my sounder, which was good, and just didn't move all day. And got a few goes at some good blueies. Lost a couple of good blueies. Killed a couple of good ones, and probably released another 10, 10 or so, five or ten decent ones. Uh, keepers, but uh, only can take three, so I got my three blueies and a couple of flags. So it'll do me head back and do some filleting and uh, have a feed of fish tonight and rest up and go have a swim. I think. All right, we'll uh, start making our way back.
the tides up there, so we've pretty much got to wait for the water to come back to about where the boat is. Alright, go back to the park and do some filleting.